Oh my god, give me land, give me land. Give me a land! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Let us march into battle and make new <laughs> this, comrades. The only card that saves us here. I do Hello everyone and welcome! I'm Lenny and you're watching Lenny TV. Today, um, thanks, first of all, for all of you awesome people that suggested some changes to my Rakdos control list. I looked at Rakdos and I fell in love with uh, what colors, uh, what cards they have. And I made it my number one priority to build a deck that counters Scapeshift completely. And turns out, thanks guys for suggesting awesome cards, Rakdos Black and Red has some great, great cards to counter Scapeshift. So we will take a look at a an, imp at an improved deck list that can really counter Escape Shift. If you hate that deck, you are at the right place. So stay tuned and uh, don't miss the deck. And if, before we get into the deck explanation, as always, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to. If you don't want to miss my upcoming videos, you should definitely m hit that bell. All right, guys, we are in the deck builder. And first of all, a big big thank you to. All of you awesome people that have commented some great, great and awesome suggestions as to what or which cards I should include um, to counter Scape Shift. So I listened and I included some new cards, I modified the deck list and this is the deck I came up with. It has, as you see, let's take a look at the cyber together, shall we? We have two more legions and so we can have a place out of four. We have two Elder Spell in case we face up against some Espor or some Planeswalker Controlly list. But here it is. All of the following cards are to here to counter Scape Shift. We have four Blood Sun. And Blood Sun is really shutting Scape Shift down completely. Opponent needing to play Teferi to bounce this one. Alright, so opponent needs this. Uh, needs Teferi to bounce this one. Otherwise the deck is just dead. One board wipe and they have nothing anymore. Um, and for Ashiok, and Ashiok is really good as well, because Ashiok uh, denies them if they escape shift their lands, they sacrifice their lands, they are denied to search their library, so they are not able to search the library to get some more lands. <laughs> that is just awesome. We have two cops of Chandra. Chandra is really good because she can essentially clear the board two times. And I have also two copies against Nexus of Fate decks because they are really annoying in best of three if you man if to uh, if you are getting into a game with, uh, against them. We have some way of winning against Nexus of Fate. It's not a lot. You can maybe toss out one Star of Extinction to put in another Chandra against Nexus. But we have one Star of Extinction here as well. It's good against Planeswalker heavy decks. It's good against Field of the Dead. Uh, just keep in mind it destroys your own planeswalkers as well. So I made some changes um, to the main board. I didn't like um, the Bedek Bedazzle against uh, the non-basic lands. Because they have this uh, ley line that gives them hexproof. So you cannot target them with the second part of Bedazzle. Meaning you cannot destroy lands. This is also not the best card... Uh, against the Hexproof Ley Line because you cannot uh, discard them. But it's it could be a great uh, discarding card if they don't have the Ley Line. Otherwise, I'm not too sure about Carnival Carnage. Maybe there is some better options for this. Maybe you can help me again to round out this deck even more. So I'm not quite satisfied with this card inclusion. Um, I don't know what to put at the free dr uh, drop, to be honest. So I put in one embodiment. Because I t took out every Theater of Horrors. I felt like Theater of Horrors is a really bad card. I, d I didn't like it at all. Um, yeah, it's just bad. And I put these in to have an activation for Theater of Horrors actually. So I'm not too sure about these. But to have some draw and some engines, I put in four Dread Presence. And I really love this card actually. It feels amazing when it stays alive actually. And we have three copies of Karn with the three treasure maps. Now, treasure map is questionable as well, because it can be bounced a lot by Treferis and other stuff. But uh, 
if you have it with Karn and you have the treasures and Blood Sun deactivates the treasure cove. So it's questionable. But I really like this deck so far and it's really beating up Scapeshift really good. If you are matched up against it, this is a really favorable matchup for you. With this deck you should almost never lose against Scapeshift, trust me. And I'm going to prove it. We are going to jump into some best of three and we're going to beat up some Scapeshift. Alright, our opponent is Bleat. He's playing as Karn. And hopefully he's playing some Scapeshift. This is a very slow hand. I guess we go for it. Oh, we see Gruul colors. So this could be some elemental action. Oh, it's just, uh, or just Gruul beating our face. Could be just Gruul beating us down. Yep, this is just Gruul beatdown. Let's see if we have a chance against that. Alright. Let's keep the swarms in case we draw a red presence. Let's be devil the spellbreaker. So we take less damage and free. Oh, Domri coming down. Oh, uh, less damage and four. But now we're taking four. I don't know what I'm talking. Alright, we cannot do anything against this. So there better be only one more creature after the next turn. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. Oh man. I love everything. Arcbor Ranger. Dinosaurs. Oh man. <laughs> Stomping time. This is indeed stomping time. I guess we have to play the Massacre Girl to have a blocker here. Otherwise we are just dead. But I think we are dead anyways, right? Because... Yep. So that's it. We are gone. This will be fun to watch. <laughs> oh my god. What a quick death. What a very quick death. Alright, we are sideboarding against that deck. We want some Legion's End. We can leave in the Walk the Plank. We should maybe even leave in the Rampage. Um, let's cut out some Cry of the Carnarium. Because that didn't seem to be effective. Let's maybe put in one Star of Extinction though. And... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think this is pretty much it. Can leave one of these in. Angraf is seems not too bad. Let's cut. Maybe one red presence or one Karn. Karn. Let's cut one copy of Karn. Alright, round two against Bleed. And we had we we didn't have much we could sideboard in, but we should have a lot of uh, removal anyways in this deck. So that we can deal with uh, this gruel beatdown deck. Land of Royal Elves has to go. But I don't want to use the Legion's end. Because with Legion's End, in case there is the Grove Chamber Guardian in there, we can remove them. Cinder Vines. That is a weird inclusion against us. Or we use it on the Surta Goblin. Or we just play the Dread Presence. I mean, I want to be greedy here. Play the Dread Presence. It will most likely die. But, uh... I want to go for it. Lava Coil, and it's gone. So we will take 3 here. The 
This is not the end of the world. We will play another one. Alright, at 5 mana this could be really scary. Oh man. The Rekindling Phoenix though. I guess we can deal with that. Somehow. Let's not block this. Karn. I mean, if my opponent blocks uh, with the Phoenix, we can clear the board. Alright, so he blocks with the Phoenix. Meaning we can then... Ritual of Sudden, get rid of everything! Alright, so we got rid of the biggest threat, which was the Phoenix. Uh, might be wrong. This might be a big threat as well. Legion's End seems to be really slow here. Or really do nothing. Oh man. Let us begin. I wanna create some blockers here. <laughs> Evil cannot withstand oh man. Oh my god. So. If we draw mana, hypothetically, we can make two tutus. And if we play Massacre Girl, that's one. Because of it entering. One because of the elves. And then two more. Because of these soldiers. So that's four. That's four. One, two, three, four. So both of these would survive. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to not block here. Alright, is there a way we survive here? I guess we can make two blockers here. Yeah, we could have gotten two more triggers, but they would have survived. Awaken. Not much sense. You take seven, the guaranteed seven next turn. The problem is both of the... Oh my god. So he has Collision Colossus. He probably has. No, Domri's Ambush. Right, so, so we take guaranteed eight. And I think we lost. Rule beat us down. Oh my god, give me a land, give me a land. Give me a land! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Let us march into battle and make new <laughs> this, comrades. The only card that saves us here. I do love a good death whale. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Uh, and there is a hasty flyer. There goes all my my happy feelings down the toilet. But man, that was a good draw. That was a real good draw. I mean, we lost anyway, but <laughs> man, it was close. All right, our next opponent is Janssen. Janssen is playing as Chandra. We will play first. It's a terrible hand. This one isn't really good, but we are going to keep it anyway. The embodiment can go. We will start off by playing a swamp. Right, Janssen. Oh my god. Oh. Could be the deck we are looking for. 
And it is. All right, all right. Just, just stay cool. We can walk the plank here. The first game doesn't really matter because we don't have our our whole sideboard in. No. <laughs> so I don't really know if we can actually win the first round. Probably no. Because this deck is just insanely strong. If you show Fairy remorse, coming down. I'll show the no, I am not making this there is a treasure map. Which is good. Oh, there is a red source. So we are keeping that on top. The Fairy can bounce the treasure map, but I don't really care. He doesn't I've care anyway. Time. So we will just draw this card and we will get actually we can make him this card too let's do that all right he plays growth spiral first oh man another field of the dead two lands he might have a, another land all right so the field of the deads Oh no, he has two Field of the Dead, so he needs seven different ones. I'll protect you. Yeah, he needs one more land to activate them. That's actually really good for us. Because we will discard both of these cards as well. <laughs> oh, Scape Shift gone. Awesome. We don't want that land. Oh no. Please don't draw land. And he found a land. Activating his field of the dead. Fairy, you should bounce the treasure map. Alright. Don't worry, I got this. So what is it? Oh my god. Actually that's not too bad. We have a cry. And not a field of the dead. Alright, draw. Let's go to main phase. Let's clear the board. And let's cast a treasure map. Ah, we have answers to Teferi. I guess we don't want the Rascal's Contempt. I was counting there if he had messed up. Deputy to exile the treasure map. All right. Weird. We will just be devil. Get the treasure map back. We don't want the swamps. All right, is there a way for us to win here? I mean, this, this first game will be hard. We are, again, in dire need for a board clear. I guess Threat Presence can keep us alive one more turn. Right? So we live one more turn. Three more zombies. Oh man, another board here would be really nice. We're taking 10 damage here. And we live! Alright, that is the worst land to draw here. The swamp would be way better. <laughs> and we draw a mountain. Oh man. Alright, so let's concede the first round. Janssen got this first one. We just wait for the second round. Alright, we're in here sideboarding. Let's get Ugin, Liliana out. Let's put in Chandras. Let's put in the Star of Extinction. All the Blood Suns. All the Ashioks. Let's take out the Embodiment. Walk the Plank, the Rampage. All right, let's take out Rascal's Contempt as well. 
Angraph is not really good. I can leave one copy of this in. Alright, we need to cut two more. I guess we can cut one Massacre Girl. And one Carnival Carnage. And I think that's it. Alright, round two with our whole sideboard in. Of course we will play first. And I don't know if I like this hand. We're missing lands. We are missing. If I get lands, if I get no mana off the top, we might throw the game away. We have Ashiok. But let's take a mulligan here. Now this one looks not too bad. Let's keep this one actually. Opponent taking another mo one, so he has to put two back. Alright, so he kept this one. Into an abor arboreal grazer. So I've read that card wrong all along. Hopefully no Teferi here. Nope, that's not a Teferi. So we are fine. Let's scry. Red presence is good. I'm gonna keep that card. We wanna scry again in our upkeep. Hopefully no Teferi here. Oh my god. Uh, this is probably the fastest I've seen them go off. Because this is already enough to activate Field of the Dead. That's insane. Do we actually scry here? I think we do. Ashok. That's really good. Alright, let's just play the land. We can drop Ashiok. In case they have escape shift, they would have to attack. They would just kill him, right? So there is not much point to playing him. We can activate him, at least. I guess we just play him. We have a lot more. Put the top cards of his gr uh, library into his grave and exile them. Oh, he found the field of the dead. That is really lucky. Alright, so he kills Ashiok. Ashiok down. So if there is a scape shift here, I think he is missing a second green source. Do we want the top card here? Yep. Yes, we want this. We want this really bad. Let's play this. So, Blast Zone will not be able to blow up. And the Field of the Dead will lose all of its abilities. Even Hydroid Crisis has a hard time against us because we will take we will take 9 damage but next turn we can ritual of soot destroy everything and if he plays a crisis here all right we don't care about that growth spiral and with blood sun in yeah after this attack there is not much else you will be able to do man I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not looking too good for you. Alright. Oh! So my treasure map lost all of its drawing chances as well. Let's just clear the board for now. And we will play the red presence then. And sacrifice all of the treasures. Because we cannot draw with them anyway. What is he doing now? I'm wondering. He needs a crisis, a big crisis. 
He needs to find the fairy, bounce the blood sun. Alright. We will play Karn here. Activate him. Uh, we will plus him. Let's see what he gives us here. Oh, he gives us a swamp. How nice of him. Alright. We will draw an extra card here. Take a damage and attack. Um, I cannot shoot the two damage in his face because he has hexproof. Right now we drop Chandra, and we will get Anyone give him an emblem. Oh, we won't because he surrendered. So round two we won. All right, back to sideboarding. I don't think there is a lot to sideboard. Um. Do we want anything from here? I guess we will put in some Teferis to bounce the enchantment. Meaning we will have to have some answers for that. Maybe I should put in the cheapest answer to that. That is Angrof's Rampage. And maybe let's take out one Karn for that. So we have just one more answer for the fairy. We have four answers for two planeswalkers. That's not a, that's not much. But I guess I guess it's fine like this. I guess it's fine like this. All right, to round three against Janssen. Janssen playing Scapeshift, and we will counter this deck completely hopefully all right this is another greedy hand and i'm not going to keep it this is way better <sighs> i guess if he has a teferi keeping this is crucial i want three so tossing one treasure map is probably the right play because we will replay the treasure map anyway over and over again i think because there for sure is the fairies in his list now. That he has seen the enchantment, right? Because he needs to have a way to bounce them. To activate his field of the dead. Alright, Grove Spiral. So there might be a Teferi here. No. No Teferi, that's good for us. That's really good. Ah, let's just draw. I want to drop um, the Blood Sun right now. So that way he has two high priority targets to, that he has to bounce. Bedek Bedazzle is able to remove a Field of the Dead. And there is a big Krasis. Alright. Krasis for four. So he's switching up his strategy a little bit. We will scry. We will keep the land, actually. I want it. We will keep the swamp in our hand. And we will legions end this crisis here. Hopefully we find more in his hand. No! Yeah, there is one. And we see he has two scape shifts here. The fairy coming down. I'm known for my so he has to bounce the blood sun. Now he needs to find an untapped land. He has no untapped land. So we can just replay blood sun. So we will replay blood sun. And I guess we pass the turn. It's like that. If he escape shifts now. That's not good for him, so he won't Let's do that. This. We will take free damage, but that's okay. And I'm curious what these two cards are. Seems like they're not really helping him too much. Try. We need to keep that. Just in case. Let's drop Dread Presence. And a Swamp. 
And we will remove the fairy here. This is hardly my worst defeat. Alright, so pass the turn. We are completely killing this deck. We are killing this deck. There it is, my friends. He just concedes. Because Scapeshift has no chance anymore. This is the new Scapeshift counter. 100%. Hey, Lenny here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash that bell, drop a like, and subscribe. Now I will leave you with a choice. The top video is my recommendation for you, and the bottom one is from YouTube. Now go check them out and tell me which one you enjoyed more.